The first use, and probably the most common, is through secure socket layer sessions. These are secured web transactions through the HTTPS or the Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure Protocol. You see this any time you create an encrypted session to a website, whether to log on to a web-based email, purchase something with a credit card, which is probably one of the most common, or simply enter personal identifying information. Now, again, I know what you're saying. Well, Cam, I, I know that I create an encrypted session. Maybe my web browser displays a small locked padlock on the bottom of my browser saying I'm in an encrypted session. But other than that, why should I care? How do I know? In reality, a lot of this process takes place behind the scenes. Most web browsers come pre-configured to accept the authority of most of the major respected worldwide certificate authorities. If indeed there is a certificate authority that is not recognized by your web browser, when your web browser is presented with a certificate that has been signed by this unknown or untrusted certificate authority, you'll get a warning message. As a result, you can choose to accept or deny this certificate and choose to continue or discontinue the session as a whole.